Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand how transistor works as an amplifier, right? So this this video is very interesting for me to understand how transistor works as an amplifier, what is the amplification factor and how do we calculate the voltage gain of an amplifier, right? So this is this is going to be very interesting topic to understand how a small signal can be amplified with can be amplified in a large signal. You can see here we have a small signal which is applied at the base and it is amplified with inverted large, large signal at the collector. So this is this is going to be very inter interesting topic to understand how transistor works as an amplifier, how BJT works as an amplifier, and how do we calculate the amplification factor? What is the what is the base voltage? what is the ac quantity and what is the dc quantity in in a transistor amplifier right so let us understand now so here you can see a half capital letter v with cap with b, b b in capital letter so capital letter v with subscript of uh, v in capital letter this represents the dc quantity so this v b b is dc voltage and here v c c is dc voltage and now here capital letter v with subscript of small letter i n that is v i n that represents ac quantity so here v in is ac quantity and here we have v c is ac quantity capital letter with small letter subscript right so this is the basic uh, representation for uh, representation for a ac quantity and dc quantity to uh, further understand in our analysis right so let me explain you uh, this is the basic basic circuit diagram of transistor as amplifier okay this works as an amplifier so let me explain the basic circuitry of this transistor so here you can see we have we have base voltage that is dc quantity that is vbe and then we have a small signal that is v in and it is connected with a base resistance r1 okay it is connected with a base resistance r1 then it goes to the base of the transistor okay and this is the emitter this is the emitter of transistor which is connected to the ground right so voltage across this base to emitter uh, is given by vb that is that is also a ac quantity you can see a capital letter with subscript of a small letter that means vb is ac quantity then we have then we have emitter resistance that is r dash e this is emitter resistance then we have a dc voltage here collector voltage uh, dc voltage here this is the vcc and it is connected to a collector resistance that is R2 and it goes to the collector of transistor. And then here, here you can see we have a, a output voltage VC which is also a AC quantity or AC voltage. Okay. So this VC is AC voltage, this VB is AC voltage and this V in is AC voltage, right? So let us understand this first. This is this is the input voltage. So if you if you plot a a signal signal of input voltage, so V in with reference to the time here with reference to time here. So you can see you have some biasing voltage that is V B B. You can see there is a, some biasing voltage and on biasing voltage uh, AC signal is superimposed, right? On biasing voltage, the AC signal is superimposed on it. So let us say you are having some DC voltage that is VBE, then then your AC signal is superimposed on your DC signal, right? So whatever is your AC signal, the the peak side is uh, top of your top of your biasing voltage and minus peak side is below of your biasing voltage so that is how a ac signal is being superimposed in a dc signal right 
so if you want to have a look of the amplified output voltage amplified output voltage you can see this is vc this is vc and it is it is superimposed on vcc that is dc collector voltage here this is the vcc vcc and it is also a you can see this is small signal here and here we have a large signal right here we have a large signal so this large signal is superimposed on on a collector voltage that is vcc i'm not gonna talk about the biasing of the transistor in this video we will cover in upcoming video let us under, understand first the basic operation of transistor as an amplifier right so now now i will realize this circuit and i will calculate i will calculate the output voltage and what is the voltage gain for this transistor as an amplifier how do we calculate the voltage gain for the transistor right transistor which works as an amplifier right so if you if you want to find out what is the ie that means emitter current which is nearly equal to the collector current and it is given by your vb divided by r dash e that means your this voltage voltage across base to emitter which is given by vb divided by r dash e then you can find this emitter current okay and which is equal to your collector current so let me show you uh, this is the your emitter current ie and this is your then you have your collector current this is ic right so here you can see a capital letter with subscript of small letter that means this is ac current right time varying current which is given by the ac voltage ac base voltage vb divided by r dash e now if you want to find out the the output or amplified voltage of your transistor your amplifier which is given by vc so vc equals to ic into rc so you have now ic here this is ic already explained and the voltage drop across this this resistance rc is given by vc so vc equals to this vc is given by ic into rc right now since you know that you know that ic is very closer to ie your collector current is nearly equal to your emitter current hence your vc equals to if you replace this by ie i into rc now this is another equation now if you want to find out this this voltage vb which is given by so this vb is given by vb equals to v in minus ib into rb okay ib ib represents the the base current so this is the base current v in minus ib into rb now now to find out the voltage gain voltage gain of your amplifier which is given by av equals to av equals to the voltage gain of your amplifier which is given by vc divided by vb this vc divided by your vb this voltage collector voltage divided by your base voltage now since you know that vc equals to ie into rc this is small here ie into rc divided by vb equals to what is your vb equals to ie into r dash e okay from this equation you can find vb so vb equals to ie you multiply goes with this vb equals to here you can find vb so vb equals to ie into r dash e r dash e so the same equation i have replaced here vc equals to you can see here ie into rc divided by ie into rd r dash c this will cut and then we have rc divided by r dash e so the voltage gain of this transistor to works as amplifier or amplification factor for this configuration is given by av which is equals to rc divided by r dash e so you have now this equation av equals to 
RC divided by R dash C. Then we will take one example, one numerical problem, and I will solve you to show how how a small signal can can be amplified with a larger signal. So let us say the the emitter resistance of this transistor is given by 50 ohm, and then we have VB which is equals to 100 millivolt. This is VB base voltage. This AC voltage which is given by 100 millivolt. Then we have this collector resistance which is equals to 2k. Now, now the question is what is V out? Okay, so what is the V out or output voltage for this amplifier? Okay, so we know that the voltage gain, the voltage gain for an amplifier is given by AV which is equals to the collector resistance divided by R dash E emitter resistance which is equals to 2K you have collector resistance 2K and R dash E equals to 50 milli ohm if you solve this this is 40 so now for this design you have voltage gain 40 or you have amplification factor is 40 now since your input signal is your base signal is 100 millivolt so now you want to find out your v out so what is what is v out v out av we know that av equals to v out divided by vb this v out divided by vb if you further solve this v out equals to av into vb and since vb equals to 100 millivolt and av equals to 40 you have 4 volt rms at your v out so your V out equals to 4 volt RMS. Okay, this is RMS, not peak to peak, right? So hope you understand how do you design a transistor as an amplifier. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in comment section.